Hello, Forecaster here again, and we are back for episode 59 of Enter the Gungeon, and we are going to start a blessed run, and I'm just going to head down. I've already bought the blessing, of course. Um, if I hadn't, that would be quite the mistake on my part. We're going to start a blessed run and enter the gungeon without the blessing. And there, as you can see, we got the silencer. Um. Huh. My tablet that I use as a timer just shut down for some reason. But oh well. We are going to try to grab the television on this one. On this one. Don't know what that previous one was. Um, okay. One moment. I am going to bring up my quarter program so I can see how long it's been so I don't go too much over time. Ah, dang it. That's our armor. That's unfortunate. The tablet might have run out of battery. Even though it's plugged in, it might, might have lost contact. So it wasn't charging. Oh, Trident. Interesting. Get a chest. And we get the C4. We can keep that. We're at least going to be able to keep it until the second floor. Boss, or on the boss, probably. Not sure how effective it's going to be. The C4 is pretty hard to use because you need to trick the, uh, well, whatever you want to explode to stand on top of it. Oh, it's the AU gun. Which I am probably not going to be able to keep until the boss, which is unfortunate. No, there we go. Um, I'm going to buy that. Passive items are good. Uh, apparently there was a weapon on sale, which got pulled off the shelves when a blessed Kanjineer enters the gungeon for some reason. Oh, Abyssal Tentacle. A wiggly Wiggly t Tentacle. Oh, a red chest. Okay, so hopefully we don't get a weapon from this. Ooh, spice. We can use that, of course. I think that made us a little faster, so we're really, really fast now. Which is very nice. It also gave us health, of course, and I believe a bit of a damage boost. And... I think that's it. Maybe I, I can buy this key. So I'm going to buy that and open this chest. If it is a weapon, I'm never going to take it, and it is. It's unfortunate. What is that? I don't know. Doesn't matter. I need to keep the tentacle for... Oh, never mind. Dang it. Is the Deckard gun, I think. Oh. The 
Looper. There we go. Got the banana. As an ending gift. I want to keep that, so... Yeah. Don't think there's anything left for us here. No secret room either. We're just going to head down to the next floor. And... Unfortunately, we are... At the end of this floor, we're going to have to ditch the C4. The mahogany. Ooh, ow. Damn it. Did not expect to walk in fire like that. Gamma ray is pretty nice. Uh, why do I never get to keep the gamma ray for long? Hate that. Huntsman again. Or wait. I actually might not have had this. Oh, wait, I think I do. I did have this near the beginning of the first floor. Hitting a sniper shot with that is probably pretty difficult. The shell gun, I th think. Yeah. Shop, spice. Um, we can sell the C4, which I might as well do. Because I, if I get enough money, I can buy the spice, which would be great. Don't really need help. But that's enough money to buy more spice. I'm going to do that. Get some curse. Should get even more damage bonus. And I think if we use spice again, we are going to lose health. It's the... what's this called? The Scrambler. They could have ca also called it the Executor. But the Scrambler works as well, of course. Compressed air tank is interesting. Not sure why there's a flame coming out of it. Oh, the Crestfaller. I haven't seen this in quite a while. Brown chest is not particularly interesting. Of course, I don't have a key, so I wouldn't have been able to open it regardless. And that costs 30 coins. There's a, another chest up here. Well, at least I got the appropriate enemies for this gun. Hello, bait launcher. And this is the trick gun. green chest which is obviously better 
Still can't afford the key though. And I still haven't gotten a keyed rock, of course. Now that was unfortunate, but whatever. Just have a heart. Another half a heart, which that looked kind of wrong to me. Okay, I still cannot afford the key, so I can't open either of the chests yet. Hopefully, I'll get one from the boss, though. Pop so here. Have a fight? What is that? Is the holster? Oh, right. Cat's claw. Attention there. Oh. Got this again. So I don't won't be getting any flawless. It's quite a shame because I would have liked more health. I've got these needles. Rattler. I do have a ri ridiculous amount of health anyway, though. Eye patch. Have I had this before? Increases damage at the cost of accuracy. Runes carved into the leather of this eye patch represent a bargain with Caliber, revered gun goddess. In exchange for depth perception, she will bless each bullet fired. I don't... I think I haven't had this before, actually. I was about to say I haven't, but I recognize that description. Waste a blank on the... Looking for a secret room. Instead of... Uh, getting to the... Next floor with... Uh, three blanks. But that should be fine. Um, I'm going to have to shoot these two chests, because I can't open them. And I didn't open that one-way door. But I'm fast, so it doesn't really matter that much. And we got some junk. Oh well. That's what happens when you're not given enough keys. Uh, let's not forget the television. Uh, I'd like to get that. Pop back here. We're going to go down here if we can get this down to the forge. On this blessed run, that would be great. Still have the rattler for now at least. Off. Poison you. Table. Now we get keys and the snake maker thing. There's a snake, a wiggly, wiggly snake. How oh, this weapon? I 
forget what it's called. Screecher, right. I haven't really had a chance to use that a whole lot. But I think I've only ever gotten it on blessed runs. I might not have unlocked it uh, yet. And I usually don't get to keep it for very long. Almost walked into that shot right there. Rather embarrassing. Okay, we get the shell gun again, which fires coins. I wonder if that is a Binding of Isaac reference. Oh, that was the tablet connecting again. So apparently, find the found the computer again now charging. Not sure what is going on with the dang tablet. Let's just open this. Oh. Fortune's favor. Can't take that, I'm afraid. I don't think I've actually gotten to test that. I know I've had it, but I don't think I've actually gotten to gotten a chance to use it. Hello, Spice. Yeah. So that gives us some more bonuses, but we start to lose health. We need to buy a key because there's bound to be a chest somewhere. Whatever we got there that shot that beam didn't last very long. Ooh. I did not notice that I was standing on oil there. Until just after I set it on fire. ammo doesn't really matter now, so I can just spam away at these enemies regardless if they're buffed or not. Usually I try to debuff them before dealing with them so I don't have to waste ammo unnecessarily. I try to be as efficient as possible because it's more often than not a that you can easily run out of for certain weapons at the very least. Dang it. Dodged a little too early there, I think. Little bomber. It's not a bad weapon. not ideal for dealing with that kind of enemy. The tiny ones. Don't really have a choice though when you are on a blessed run, I guess. Okay, let's switch it up. We get the double helix. And then we get the eye of the beholster. I think it's called. For you to do, I. I'm afraid. It's going pretty well. Betrayer's shield. 
not exactly my first choice. Face Mounter is nice though. The walls are incredibly sensitive to... or incredibly restrictive to things. Still have the TV. And there's the boss. Not quite done exploring yet. So let's pop down here. Okay. That is absolutely useless to us. Okay. No way we can afford that, and I probably won't buy it regardless. Even though it's very tempting. Which is appropriate for a drug. Ooh, we get the serious cannon for the cannon balrog. Which is quite appropriate. Or ironic, depending on how you see it. Leave the television. And of course I'm just firing randomly because I have ice to spawn. Taken an unfortunate amount of damage. Oh. Um not a fan of that. Getting the microtransaction gun. I'm probably going to try to weed it out. Explosive shot, crossbow, it's a decent weapon, very much so. Blob is not that at all. But hey, at least I didn't get hit right there. If that hadn't killed him, then killed it a second later. Bullet would have hit me. Nail gun. Is not great. Secret room? No. I uh, don't think there's anything else we want in the shop unless there's another key for sale we can buy, which there is, so we're going to do that. Um so continue down to the fourth chamber. Almost there. We have a decent amount of health now. Or we we do at the moment at least. Which is to say it's going to last very long. The Winchester rifle is nice. I almost forgot the TV there because it was in the wall. That would have been very unfortunate. That uh, is Shade's revolver, I, I'm pretty sure. Ah, uh, it was too late. We get the tearjerker instead. a very odd firing weapon for this game. Bullet. 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 Of course another Binding of Isaac reference. Pretty obvious Bullet. one. That. Bullet. There we go. Bullet. 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 Kill the face. Bullet. Bullets to worry about. 
Fewer bolts that go in all directions. The AU gun is incredibly powerful, of course, as always. Musket or blunderbuss, this is. Quite a bit less so. What is this? SAA? Alright. Oh. Um. Ow. Well, whatever. Gungeon on top of our other. Ah, why not? More damage is always nice. This is making us. That was making us ridiculously fast with our existing speed bonus. Probably shouldn't take any more spice now. Because I've negated all of the health that I got from the spice in the first place. Uh, I already have a curse, so I might as well do that. It's a weapon, so we get to switch. The Malto launcher, which I guess. It's pretty useless against certain enemies. But hey. Like those. Well, the bottle hitting them is doing damage at least. Ow. Damn it. That was cheeky. Okay, so we're not doing brilliantly on health anymore. Which is terribly annoying. Um, We get weapons that last a long time anymore. Right now. I think the minimum time for a weapon to stick around should be higher if there even is one. Probably not. Because some weapons can just immediately lose pretty much. this 38 special have I had this before I think so sidearm of choice or maybe there's another gun that says sidearm of choice t-shirt cannon again okay then um I think there should be another chest somewhere At least the t-shirt cannon isn't too bad. I mean, it has a lot of knockback at the very least. Reblink. This gun though is not great. Oh. So 
claw blade launcher thing. Sorry. Buzzkill. Right. That was the name of it. I don't remember that at all. Go away. That's a dead end. Okay. Cursed. One of these. Oh. Well, that was stupid. I really should have ricocheted that against this wall up here. Like that. Shot down there. Instead of exposing myself to that bullet that hit me in the face. Ah. Wow, I'm slow now. This feels slow. That was a good run. I wasted it, and I'm very, very, very annoyed with myself about that. But oh well. So, that's going to be this episode, and I will see you in the next one.